Okay, um, everyone, in this video, I'm going to be showing you uh, a brief explanation on how to use the Dark Eboot Fixer application. Um, this computer is um, a Hewlett Packard with XP um, up to Service Pack 2 on this one. Uh, the main PC I use is my uh, Mac with uh, Snow Leopard. Uh, this is just basically because not a lot of stuff gets produced for the Mac via the um, open source, you know, stuff for the PlayStation 3. So uh, with this, this um, window that's open now, this is the um, 320 gigabyte hard drive, which I have for backing up my games and stuff like that, um, and some other things. So we're going to go ahead and open that, uh, open folder to view files, open that. And here it is. This is what we have here. Uh, these top two. This is just the backup for the um, the Mac and stuff. Now to my games folder. I'll lay it there. Double click on that. And bring that up here. And basically, we're going to scroll down to Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. I'm going to that again. Let me just delete off the other ones at the back here. Bring that there. Right, okay, so we have the PS3 game. Okay. And in there, I mean, you have the pram here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, open a folder up on the desktop, which is the new folder. Um, actually, no, we don't need that one. Let's open another one. New folder. And that's that one there. It's new folder 4. Bring that down here so you can see it a little bit. Alright, so open that. New folder 4. Minimise. There. Okay. And then what I want out of the folder, the, uh, the PS3 game folder in the, the actual Resident Evil Operation Racket and City game itself, uh, I want the pram from that. So let's bring that down a little bit. I'm going to click and drag the param to here, like that. So it's made a copy of it into there, back to the uh, PS3 game folder, and then we go to the user directory, double click on that, and then in the folder, actually no, we're going to take, let's delete that one, the other two off, uh, yeah, we have this DLL folder here as well as the eBoot, which I'm going to make a copy of, so we click and drag, I copy the eBoot into this folder as well back to that window and then this folder here DLL now as you can see it says here SPRX folders yeah all these these files are SPRX alright so let's cancel that down and then the whole DLL folder I'm going to make a copy of and post it in here alright so now what I have is uh, a param an eboot and the DLL folder inside this new folder 4 okay so we'll close that down for the moment and then close all that off so now I have nothing on my desktop at all apart from uh, you know the, the um, shortcuts so this one here is the eboot fixer and then over this side I have a param FS SFO fixer as well right so what we're going to do is open my new folder 4 first of all I'm going to start with the param click and drag the pram over to the shortcut and drop it in and now the function has come up okay now as you can see it's already unlocked already because I did this before uh, there's your title of your, your game the ID uh, DG stands for disk game I mean that shows up under the hex on the pram anyway when you open it in the hex editor, uh, and all this stuff basically all this stuff shows up uh, but as you see there it says PS3 system 3.40 so it's registered to work from 3.40 firmware basically and the parent level is unlocked and the original param it's on 9 the, uh, the um, unlock thing is it says unlock there but it's on 9 parental lock on the original on the PS3 system the original is 372 I think so I've knocked it back to work on that so now it's been rebooted to run starting from 3.40 firmware okay so we'll close that so we know that's already fixed. 
and then uh, we're going to go to, I mean, depending on where you've um, basically stored the files for your eBoot fixer, right? Sometimes they're, I mean, it says their location, my documents. Other times you can install it to wherever you want, basically, but most people do it C drive program files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start window, go to my documents, and as you see there, dark eBoot fixer, yeah? Okay, so we double click on that, and right, as you can see already, there's an eBoot there, eBoot bin back, and eBoot ELF. So what it does, basically, the dark eBoot fixer, basically, it, it opens up, so it decrypts it into this, bin back, all right? And then it turns it into the ELF, and then it turns it in back into the eBoot again. So what you're doing is you're taking the the eBoot back from it, that's been fixed, and then put the eBoot back into your game along with your fixed param. Okay. Uh, with the other thing on the Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City file, you saw me take the DLL folder. It fixes SBRX files as well, and that's the ones you need to fix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete these three files because they're for Sonic um, Racing Transformed. So delete those. And my phone's going to fall over because it's not secured down properly. So let me just reattach that. Stupid plaster thing. Okay. So, um, yeah. So what I do here then is uh, I leave the window open for that. We go to my new folder. Like so. And we're going to grab the eBoot. Like this. I'm going to put that in there, okay? So now the eBoot's at the bottom of the screen there, yeah? And then we close that window, and then close folder 4. Now you notice it hasn't copied it, it's just took it straight out, yeah? So we're going to close that off, and then we're going to activate dark eBoot fixer, double click, and it'll start doing its thing, it'll start running. It goes through the main sort of beginning thing, and then the blue screen should come up with all the numbers. Right. Now, I'll drag this down so you can see it properly. Okay. Alright. So basically, I don't know if you can see that. You might have to enhance the screen on the video. But um, basically, zero is decrypt eBoot. So it unpacks it. And then if you're on 355, you have two choices from this point onwards. You have one and two here. So what you'll do is you'll press 0, and then press Enter. And then it'll go through the motions, and it'll say you press any key. You press the space bar, and then press 1 or 2. So you've got 1, which is fix eBoot for 3.6 plus games, updates for blah, blah, blah. Or 2, which is fix eBoot for 355 custom firmware alternative method. And then the other one is sell files, SBRX, and fix eBoot bin for four plus custom firmware. All right. So depending on what custom firmware you're on, you can use. So if you're on three five five, you can use one and two. And then for the SP, uh, sell files is three SBRX files, like you saw I took out in that DLL folder. Uh, <clears throat> and then five is for the uh, all these other ones here are for packages down the bottom. So you've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen is your tutorial. Twelve is the search for game updates. And then edit PS3 disk SFB, which is you know, and you can do the pram from this one as well. And then repack package, so that's for updates. So from six to nine is for updates that you've downloaded, which you can fix to fix your game, right? So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to bring this back into view, and then down this bit here, where all these numbers are, where it says please select your selection. What we're going to do is we're here, I'm going to press zero to unpack the eBoot. Now it'll run and it says see that ELF written so it's changed it to eBoot ELF so I opened it up and changed it to ELF All right. press any key to continue so I press space and now I want to patch it for 355 so uh, we know it's a 372 firmware game so we've got two options here we can use All right. we can use one or two so I'm going to try one and see what happens so you press one Enter. Uh, it's running. 
self built it says okay data compressed eboot been written fixed completed successfully press any key so that's eboot fixed okay so we know that's fixed now right so what I do now is I come out of this application and basically what I can do now is I can put the eboot that's just fixed so it'll be back inside my documents dark eboot fixer so now that eboot as you can see right you see that you've got the two back and the ELF, right? And what it's done is it's took it from the bottom and moved it up here. So this one here now, I can drop back into that folder, all right? And then with these two, I can move them away so I don't no longer need these. And delete. Yes. Now with the DLL folder, as you can see, it has the DLLs here, like a function application extension for that. What you do is you open your folder and you will open your DLL and then just do it one by one drop them in one by one do them one by one so like I say you, you can press that and then we'll just, I'll just do one to show you basically what's going on so this one here effect jobs I'll copy that copy and then paste and there it is at the bottom Effect jobs sh sbrx. Okay, so close that off, close all open windows like so. Reactivate your dark eboot fixer, let it do its thing. Right, okay, now as simple as you know, you just read. It can be more simple, you just read what you want to do. So, I want to fix the SPOX file for 355 custom firmware, so I'm going to press 4, number 4, and enter. And there you go, one file, all directories. It says you cannot open it, but it has opened it. Alright, and you can just continue. Alright, and then that is basically it. It says it's gone open it, but it has opened it, and it's removed. It basically removes stuff that is not needed for, uh, you know, the four plus stuff or the three plus stuff for three five five. So that is patched, okay. Uh, uh, basically, what I'll do now quickly, uh, just close that down, right, and that is basically it. So what you've done, I mean, just because that game needed the DLL folder. All these SPRX folders, all these um, SPRX functions patching, right? And you need all them to run it. So close that off. Other games just need the prem and the eboot. That's it, right? So um, go ahead and put those back into the game, and then it should run. And that's basically how you use it. I mean, there is other functions I have, like the shortcut to eboot fix, which is pretty much the same, but the dark eboot fixer. And this param, this param on here, these two are the easiest ones to use.